Important note. I'll probably be very critical when it comes to faults or something of the like showing up in a game. I also won't be able to play mods based on the Sonic games available on Steam since, as of now, I don't own any of them. I've also picked games based on if it's something I'm interested in or outright no I'll probably like. Please don't be discouraged if your game doesn't end up appearing. There are others that'll probably like that game, but I'm just not one of them. My taste in games can be seen as all over the place and very different from others. Please understand. Each game will have its maker talked about and their name pop up on screen. Also, the games will be linked in the description. Each video will show off two or three games. That's all for this notice. Please enjoy the video. Okay, next game we have here is Starman 2 Reupgraded. Is a sequel to Blyka Starman, a game where you play as Starman taking on the star droids from the Mega Man 5 Game Boy games. Start to have tons of secret items to improve on both the original Starman and the Mega Man 5 Game Boy game. Made by Xenostar54. We have a cutscene here apparently because I waited too long. Okay, that outro part of it is was extremely laggy there. Anyway, apparently Mega Man is out of commission right now, so... I think I have my controls set the way I want them to when I tested a couple things. New game. Easy for now. Yep, I have my controls up the way I want them. Press up. This is this way is totally blocked, boss. Who was that green guy? Hmm. I have an idea who that might have been. Naha, there we go. solving and now there's enemies
Dangers of having a shield as an attack, apparently. Keep some point. <laughs> Absolutely zero gravity, okay. Hello, secret. Okay, so that's how you move down if you're on zero gravity, you just press it down. That's why I got the shield back up. Okay, as long as you press down, you keep constantly going down. That's good to know. Huh. That was actually a tricky jump there at the end. And I guess that's supposed to be a sign of a checkpoint. Boss time? That's different. doing that okay okay that desperate that second half of the boss fight was interesting. Who are you? Explain yourself. That's not the green teleporting thing person I was thinking of. You're more capable than I thought, Starman. I suppose I should introduce myself. I am Terra, the true master of space. And as a matter of fact, I'll be the master of the whole universe by the time my star droids and I are finished. You, master of space, how dare you? I'll put you in, I'll put you in the ground. Ah yes, the gullible and aspiring hero. I have wasted enough time with you. See you in the scrap heap, star fool. Watch me. Interesting. 
Okay. Got the planet draw masters again. Uh, shop? Let me ask that cigarette. Yeah, the cigarette place I found gave me, I think, around 60 in total, and I got 8 from the actual stage itself. Use an extra try being sage. Lords around my web branches I consume when using a weapon. Use some reactions to the super arrow, his signature mobility tool. Use it to reach higher ledges or cross pits. And then refill HP, weapon energy, and both. And for all weapons. So basically, save up for th this and this, basically. Main menu, item shop, Starman's base. Which I basically just did. So that means if I can, re can I replay that stage and go to that secret and get 60 again every time? I wonder. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna end it off here for now. Um, so far from what I played, this is actually really interesting. Actually, let's go to a, another stage actually here real quick. Let's go to a glitch. That was weird. Uh, Mercury, Mercury with Wrecked Factory. Let's go here for a bit. Nice music. gonna end things off here so yeah so far this is this looks really promising here um I never really played the um Mega Man 5 Game Boy game so having this like different take on it is actually really cool so and apparently this is like a sequel to a previous game that already exists by someone else a while back so so far for Jimmo it looks like it has like at least all the robot masters and it doesn't have the hard mode difficulty, but looks like it has maybe at least all the robot masters and then maybe that's it. It doesn't have anything beyond that maybe. But so far this is really promising. I like the art style of this as well. I like all of the stage design so far as well too. And yeah, the fact that you have a shield as a weapon actually makes things interesting. Anyway. I'm not gonna show off too much more. So anyway, on to the next game. Okay, so next game we have here is Sonic Blasting Adventure. It's a remake of three unlicensed Sonic games, Sonic 3D Blast 5, Sonic Adventure 7, and Sonic Adventure 8. The unlicensed game only had you play as Sonic, so we made it so you could also play as Tails and Knuckles. Made by Gus Gustavo, bleh, Gustavo Cazonato. I think I pronounced that right. Anyway, we're actually going to play as Knuckles. And of course, Green Hill. Okay. Do 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 Al.
Get up there, you. I'm surprised I didn't take damage from doing that. Ouch. I do like the very... S like, ant size art style... Art style? Kind of? Oh, by the way, this is also a completed game, not a demo, so... Don't actually know how much I'm gonna play of this. Probably a little bit. Ow. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, that starts you right back up immediately. That's actually really nice. Don't take the hit. <laughs> Last time that happened, I accidentally got knocked into a bit. Do 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 do. Just glide all over past that. Nichols climbing on invisible walls again. And come over here. Okay, hitting bosses in this game feels extremely broken. <laughs> ah, they try to get you with a pit at the end. Wow. Kinda tricky there, game. Anywho, desert zone. Ow. This is also really, really nice to see a... Uh, like a remake of a unlicensed of unlicensed games. That's something that should be done more often. So this actually feels really nice to play. Oh, I ruined the music. Darn it. Knuckles has glide. Use it. You fool. Case in point. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, don't accidentally cancel your glide. <laughs> I'm being bad at video games again. Just once you press the glide, don't let go like a dummy. See, I was basically at the end of the stage, stage, and I kept messing up. Wait. Okay, thank goodness. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was about to freak out. I'm like, oh god, did I mess up again?
Oh, that's its form of... I see. Wait, is it always the second one then? Yep. The second wall he hits, he goes down. Yep, okay. Figure out the boss's pattern. It's just very slow to deal with them. Okay, so I can just hit him from the other side like that and I won't get hit, hurt and I can get at least two hits in. Nice. I'm tricky platforming after the bosses. Also, Tetris blocks. I'd like to point out that you could just go over here and just fall into the pit if you wanted to after completing the stage. Which is kind of mean that you can actually accidentally do that, but... I wonder if that icon changes depending on the character. Also, yeah. Oh, more Tetris blocks, that's... Oh! I get it, at the end of the first zone, there was that... Those falling bridges, which were only there like, once during the first green hill, but then they appeared a lot during the one stage. And now these appeared at the end, randomly at the end of the other last zone, and then suddenly they're here a bunch in this zone. So, not only does it come with the risk of falling into a pit and dying at the end of the boss stage of, this, of Act 2, it also gives you a preview of what's to come for the next zone. That's actually really cool. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna start playing this for now. A lot of, these des a lot of design for this game is actually really nice and the controls are really smooth. Just those times I died I was being a dummy. And that was unfortunate timing there for that enemy placement. But anyway, anyway, on to the next game. Oh, apparently I gotta set up my keys first. Press any key, continue. Up, down, left, right, jump, run, start. Select. And that's it, you can press Alt and C to reset controls at any time. Have fun. Okay, next game we have here is Super Mario Flashback. Super Mario Flashback is a love letter to the franchise that brings stages from his past 2D and 3D adventures. Made by Moors. Okay. So now I'm having my control set up apparently right at the beginning. <laughs> nice art style, literally. Start game. Presentation here is actually really nice. Mushroom Kingdom, where it all began, World One. Thanks for the reminder of Mario Sunshine. Really, really love that game. Anyway, I'm sorry, did. Mario literally has his own drop drop dash here. <laughs> that Koomba had a hard hat on so he didn't get hurt. Okay, so how do I so if I hold it, okay, so I have to hold, I had to press my direction up against the wall for it to.
Red hard hat. You're not a Koopa. And then just press... Okay. <laughs> Next slide. To be honest, it already feels like Mario is running when I... When I start jumping. But this is where he's actually running. Okay. Oh no. Yep, saw that happening. Too bad. So right there, there's leeway to do it, but next time. Hello, Fire Flower. Okay, there we go. Tree jump there. Nice. Oh boy. Hey, that respawned. Nice. That's in towards the rainbow star. The galaxy now. That was dangerous. Oh, a green star. Those are in here, are they? And there was only one Greek star during, during the stage, okay. In before, this is actually the only, de only demo level. You got a star! Three minutes, 33 seconds, coins. Oh, I should have gotten one less coin, so it would be 33. That would have been amazing. Rank D. It's because I died. Oh, there's actually more? Yep. Cave of the Beatles. And we actually got rain and thunder. So I actually got weather effects too. And that shows you what pipe you need to go down. Nice. <laughs> well, the remix is here. Wow. That enemy definitely had it out for me. My goodness. Okay, so when they come from the gra from the ceiling, they really go after you. My goodness. That's all I have. One HP left. Darn! I was hoping someone was there. Oh boy. Did you do? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Nice HP that I really need There might be something there, but I'm not gonna risk it Ah My goodness I'm glad I made it to the checkpoint at least before I died here. 
Yeah, I'm really loving the music for for this level. The cave theme here is actually really nice. Oh come on! I actually put went through effort to going up here to actually see if I could get any secrets, and there was nothing. Oh, so I gotta do it over here though, okay. Got it. I'm sure later levels will have more than one green star. Oh, I thought I was able to salvage it. But then I forgot how to wall jump properly. You gotta hold the direction where the wall is and then press the button to wall jump, but I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, one thing that is nice, I was able to keep the green, it allowed me to keep the green star. It's actually really nice that you're allowed to keep it even if you end up dying because once you get it once, you don't really feel like you need to get it again because you already showed that you can actually get it. So that's nice, that's nice for them to actually do that. And we're good. I was about to say, <laughs> you got to style. Do, 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 do. Bunch of coins, transfer to score, rank D because I died. The happiest, the happiest of Koopas. Those remind me of, um, uh, darn it. What am I, why am I pointing on the name? Yoshi's Island, my goodness. Changing size mushrooms, which I think is new Super Mario Bros. Wii, or just that, or new Super Mario Bros. series in general. Nah, ha. Got the green star. Didn't need the health anyway. Oh, it changes how the Goombas act when they have those types of shells. It determines how they act. So they have a green shell, they still act like normal Goombas with a shield. But if they have the red hard hats on, then they act like red Koopas so they don't walk off the state. That's actually really, it's actually really clever design to have the Goombas actually be more unique. And wow, that, that level went by quickly <laughs> yeah less than two minutes and while the other ones were around three and a half to near almost four minutes in the second one rank b because i didn't die that was that's actually that was actually really quick level i was only expecting it to be that quickly uh boss a digital departure 
Let me guess. End of demo is what that implies? Interesting. Tries to trick me. Your dog, I heard you like mazes. There we go. jumping what did I just got invisible invisible wall there for a second what happened do, 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 do. wait for the goomba and move on Yep, I'm sure that's intentional. It literally did not start until I jumped. Wow, that's mean. Well, you would say the level design and everything about this game was fine so far, but this section here might be a bit unfair because as soon as I jumped there then it activated and I died maybe I wasn't close enough or something okay I teleported there and it that was weird I don't know what happened the first time works got through that Fortune seems like you can't skip the um scoring thing with the coins it seems Did you departure okay so that's the end of the demo right there I already completed off four levels of the demo apparently um, yeah, this is really not nice. The art art style and controls are actually really nice. The um, inspiration of the levels you can, from at least the 2D games, you can tell. The 3D one there, I'm not, the 3D one with the digital one, I'm not quite sure. I saw the 3, I see the 3D inspiration here of um, Sunshine and 
maybe Gal and Galaxy 1 and 2, but I see it as more of Sunshine because, well, I just like Sunshine. I just really, really like Sunshine, so I prefer that over Galaxy 1 or 2. Even though I've never actually completed Galaxy 1 and never played Galaxy 2. Anyway, um, yeah, this is actually really nice. No complaints here. Except for maybe that weird teleporting thing at the end, but that might have just been my unfortunate timing or something. I don't know. Anyway, on to the next game.